Good morning, Tuesday. Good to have you with us. Yes. It is a Tuesday upper body workout today. Go ahead and get set up. You have a couple of minutes before we officially get started. Grab some coffee. That's right. Mmm, <laughs> coffee tasting good this morning. There's Barbara. Good morning, Keisha. Good morning, Caitlin. <laughs> yes, love it when my girls get up early. Great to have you with us, Melita. So today's workout, there's Yolandria. We've got six sections of today's workout. Good morning, Kenya. Hopefully you got lots of sleep. Lots of sleep last night, y'all. You will need a big, wide variety of weights for today's workout. You will need some of your lightest weights for moves like YTMs. You'll also need some heavier weights for your back rows and chest press. So go ahead and grab all your weights or hopefully you're in an area where everything's easily accessible because we've got um, a couple of warm-up rounds we're gonna do. Good morning, Christina. Emily's here. Good to have you. We've got a couple of warm-up rounds. Then we're gonna get into the meat of our workout with back and chest. And then we're gonna do a couple of finisher rounds. There's Catherine, Anita, Rachel Kay just finished Monday. Awesome, and she did Friday abs. I love it, you are on a roll. There's Jessica Grasso, Tawana. Tawana Nation's here. Patty, Jackie, Michael. Look at y'all. Okay, Andrea, this is quite the group this morning. Erica's here. You guys, I think you're getting used to the time change gradually. I know I went to bed even earlier last night, got up feeling refreshed this morning. So hopefully everybody's adjusting to the new time frame. Um, let's go ahead and start with a warm up. And then we will tackle this upper body um, workout today. All right, I'm gonna turn up the music just a hair. You guys let me know if it gets too loud. We're doing 90s music today. All right, let's just start with a few arm circles. So this is a movement that's gonna be on our first circuit, but they're a good warm-up activity also. Good morning, Andrea, Erica. All right, let's go into some knee drivers. Arms up, tap your knee. One, two, three, warm up that core. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, switch sides, 10 on this side, Catherine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, crunch, 10, good. I'm actually feeling a little fatigue in my arms. What did we do yesterday? <laughs> I guess Monday was a full body workout. Good morning, Enid. All right, all, let's do, let's do some alternating Knee tap, knee tap, here we go. One, two, three, up and over. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, Andrea Perkins. Great to have you with us. All right, y'all, go into a flat back. Let's do some air back flies. I guess we did work our arms yesterday. <laughs> Mine are a little sore coming into today. I'm surprised a little bit. All right, now I want you to come up and then go overhead into a stretch. Seriously, I'm feeling fatigue, are y'all? <laughs> Here we go, air back fly, overhead press. We are just warming up, Christina, right here. You will need all your weights for today's workout. Light, lightweight and heavyweight. I'm gonna thank our sponsors before we get started. Becky Boone Vassar, who's in class today, and she loves arm day. So thank you so much, Becky. All right, thank you also to Maria Hooks, Juanita Williams, who comes to this. It had to be the push-ups, dang it. And then Melissa Arnell also is sponsoring today. Let's do some air curl and press. Just using body weight only, y'all. Air curl and press, that's it. 
good. So for me, the secret to getting used to this time change, I did take a little nap yesterday, I'm not gonna lie. I had a little break in my afternoon. I was getting really drowsy and so I took a nap and then I'm going to bed starting my nighttime routine even earlier so that I can get in. For me, I gotta get to sleep by about 9 or 9.30, 10.30, 11, 30, 12, 30, 1, 30, 2, 30, 3, 30, 4, 30. So I need about seven hours. So if I can get my seven hours, I'm good. There's Joda. Good morning, Joda Johnson. Quick sip of coffee. All right, one more activity. Let's get our heart rate up with some jumping jacks, okay? 20, ready? Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, five more. Four, three, two, and one. All right, check it out. Here's what we've got. Good morning, Tasha Sims. Great to have you with us. We've got two supersets. So our first two circuits are short mini ones. Then we're gonna move into a three part and a three part circuit for back and chest. We talked yesterday about making this and this our focus for today, back and chest. And then we're gonna finish up with some planking and some more light work. So that's kinda how I want you to mentally think of it. Light work, heavy work, light work, okay? And then we have a fun finish that we're gonna do. All right, go ahead and grab your weights for a curl and press. And you absolutely can start light because this is the warm-up round. All right, curl and press combo. Good morning, Carol. Here we go. One, one, let's get to 15. Two, two, but I'm definitely sleeping better. Three, three, with the time change. Four, four, that's it. Five, five, you got it. Six, six, warm up those shoulders. Seven, seven. Eight, eight, that's it, Carol. Nine, nine, you got it, Andrea. Ten, ten, let's get to five more. Five, press. Four, press. Three, three, you got it, Patty. Two, two, one more. One and one, good. Now on those curl and press, just a reminder, I don't wanna see a lot of momentum, okay? I don't wanna see a lot of this. If you find yourself trying to muscle up, then it's probably a good idea to drop down to a lighter weight. All right, now we've got arm circles for 40, which is actually on today's circuit. We're gonna do 20 forward, 20 backwards. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, go bigger, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Reverse it. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down. Okay. At the end of that 40, you're starting to feel some fatigue. There's Juanita. Good morning, Juanita, one of our sponsors today. Thank you so much, my dear. I appreciate you, Juanita. All right, back to curl and press. Here is an opportunity. If you can go up by one increment on your hand weights, I was started out with 10s, I'm gonna go up to, to a 12s on my curl and press. Here we go, one, one, that's it. Two, two, we've got three sets. Three, three, that's it, Catherine. Four, four, you got it, Joda. Five, five. Keep curling. Six, six, seven, seven. That's it. Eight, eight. You're halfway, y'all. Nine, nine. Split your stance if you want to. Ten, 
10, five more. 11, 11, keep breathing. 12, 12, 13, 13. They're getting heavy. 14, 14, push through. 15 and 15, good. That's your second round of curl and press. You've got one more round of those coming up. Let's go straight into arm circles, okay? Start with the reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go bigger. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Go forward. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Man, my arms feel like jello. Arms feel like jello. Becky's here. Good morning, Becky Vassar. Becky's also one of our sponsors today. Great to have you with us, Becky Vassar. All right, y'all, one more circuit, or one more round of our curl and press. Grab what you can. Here we go. Then we're gonna move on to our next light, uh, light, I meant to say superset set, uh, circuit coming up. Here we go, Crystal. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, that's it, seven, seven, last set of these, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, Ten, that's it, Becky. Five more. Five, five. Curl and press. Four, four. Get those arms, ladies. Three, three. And Michael. Two, two. One more. One and one. Yes. All right, y'all. One more set of arm circles, and we are moving on. Okay. Scoot those out of the way. Ready? Let's start with forward. Oh, wow. Oh, she's down in Florida this week. I totally forgot. Okay, Becky had to find a quiet place. She's staying at her daughter's house. <laughs> so she had to navigate through the back. She's outside. Okay, that's dedication. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, go bigger, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, reverse, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, go bigger, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, one more and three. That's it, y'all. All right, get a quick sip of coffee. I totally forgot you were in Florida this week. Good morning, Crystal Sims is here and Tasha Sims. All right, that was our first circuit. Check, check the box next to that. Our goal is to get nice and warmed up first. Next up, we've got front row, front raise, and we're gonna do a somewhat more difficult move. Don't be mad at me. We're gonna do the inchworm, bring it down, and then we're gonna row and row. So it's an inchworm combined with a renegade row. Kind of fun, kind of hard, but we only have to do that for six, okay? Just six on that one. All right, here we go. Grab your light weights. Set your coffee down, Jess. It tastes so good this morning. I got some new coffee at the grocery. It was it was just like hazelnut, but it's still really good. Okay, front row, front raise for 12. One, one, that's it, Caitlin. Two, 
two, you got it, three, three, build that muscle, four, four, good job, five, five, that's it Juanita, six, front row, six, front raise, seven, seven, eight, eight, you've got four more, nine, come on Jackie, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, one more, twelve, and twelve, <laughs> man, okay, tough move, by the time you get to twelve on that one, you should be hitting failure, so set one of your weights, I'm going to use a twelve pounder, down at the end of your mat, you're going to walk it out to the weight, row and row, set it down, walk it back up. Ready? You guys know this one, okay? Here we go. Come on, inchworm. Walk it out, all the way into plank, row, row, walk it back up. That's one, Catherine. Here we go. Two, good job, Joda. Two, row. Row, walk it back up. Here's round three. Three, walk it out. Three, three, three. That's it, Pamela. Three, you're at the halfway point. Here's four. Four, out. Four, row. Four, row. Walk it back in. That's it, Tasha. Here's five, two to go. Five out, five row, row. All the way back up. Here's six, six out, six, six. And walk it back in. Man, already feeling it in my shoulders. And I'm with you, Barbara. It had to be those push-ups from yesterday because I'm already feeling noodle army, specifically my shoulders. All right, set that to the side. You've got your second set, front row, front raise. I'm gonna go back to my, my steady 10-pounders. Now 10s, 12s, 8s would be a good range for this one, okay? Here we go for 12, Juanita. One, one, two, two, three, strong core. Three, four, four, Tasha said. Five, her shoulders are feeling it. Five, six, I'm with you, Tasha. Six, seven, you never really realize. Seven, eight, what we did yesterday. Eight, nine, until the morning after. Nine, we're gonna get through it. 10, 10, two more. 11, front row. 11, front raise, one more. 12, 12, yes. That is the way delayed onset, delayed onset muscle soreness works. You never know how much work we did yesterday till we try to do something on Tuesday, right? All right, here we go. Inchworm, renegade row, you guys. Set up your weight, back of your mat. Let's do it for six. Come on, Patty. Come on, Dee Dee. Walk it out. Row. Row. Walk it back up. Two. Two, out, two, two, that's it Becky, walk it back in, stand it up, squeeze, three, I love to stretch my hamstring, three, 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 that's the halfway point, come on y'all, three more of these, four, four, you got it Emily, four, Here we go. Five, five, 
row, row, last one, we got this, six, walk it out, six row, six row, walk it back up, all right, breathe, breathe, get a quick sip of water, get ready for your last one. I feel like with that basic combination of the inchworm, the renegade row, we could do a push-up while we're down there. We could do a leg raise, leg raise, side, side. I mean, it's limitless. If you wanna get creative, that basic movement, you could do just about anything. Anything you can dream up, our bodies can do, y'all. I want you to stay creative. All right, last set, front row, front raise. Grab something light if needed. Let's do it, Caitlin. Here we go. One, one, two, two, the dedication. Three, three, it takes Caitlin. Four, to get up early. Four, before high school. Five, to work out every day. Five is impressive. Six, six, we are so proud of you, Caitlin. Seven, seven, you got this. Eight, eight, it's about being strong. Nine, nine, loving your body every day. Ten, ten, two more. Eleven, eleven, twelve, and twelve. Arrgh. Sheesh, those are tough. I know I was never that dedicated. Never that dedicated in high school. So it takes a lot of strength and we all recognize that. Here we go, Kenya. Inchworms. All right, speaking of creativity, I want you to think of one thing you can do, okay? I'm gonna walk it out, row it, row it, and then I think I'm gonna do spider Spider, okay? Think of one thing you can do while you're down there to mix it up. I see you, Caitlin. And uh, mix it up and get creative. You can do a spider tap, you can do a push up, you can do a leg raise, okay? Here we go. Walk it out, inchworm, row it, row it, spider, spider, walk it back up. That's one. Get creative. Two, walk it out, row, row, I'm gonna do a push up. Two, walk it back in and reset. Here's three, three, inch it, row it, row it, knee up, knee up, walk it back in. That was three, three to go. Know what you're gonna do, four, four, Row, row, I'm gonna do cross, cross, walk it back in, five up, five down, walk it out, inch more, inch it, row it, row it, and leg up, leg up, walk it back up. I felt that hammy, I totally felt that hamstring. Here we go, six out. Six out, all of the above. Row it, row it, push it up. Spider, spider, knee in, knee in, knee cross, knee cross, leg, leg. Walk it. See how much fun that was? You guys, I can feel. I can just feel the love coming through. Ah, Bruce, yes, way to hit failure on that one. Just keep getting creative, you guys. All right, we're gonna move on to our first big setup for back. We're gonna start with something to activate the back. Then we're gonna do heavy back rows and a YTM, okay? We did back flies yesterday. So I'm sort of somewhat trying to avoid those. 
even though there's a lot of complementary movements in here. I want you to grab your stability ball. And if you don't have a stability ball, you can totally do this one off your mat, okay? But it's a bird dog off of your mat. This is activating your lower back. Go ahead and roll over like this. You're gonna have both hands, both feet balancing, and you're gonna raise up, opposites, raise up, opposites, okay? If you're on your if you're on your mat just by itself, same thing. Just raise up opposites. Here we go. Ready? We've got this one for 20. That's 10 each side. Here we go. One, two, three. Think about your back. Four, five. Squeeze. Six. You got to get that center of gravity. Seven, eight, nine. Squeeze your back. 10, halfway, 11, 12, come on Bruce, 13, 14, 15, that's it Joda, 16, 17, 18, you got it Erica, 19, and 20, good, roll it off your stability ball, keep that handy, man y'all, I'm really starting to sweat, alright, go ahead and stand up, You've got a heavy back row. And I just put the word heavy in there because I want you to do something. If you have all your weights set up, go towards the heaviest end, okay? Your 20s, your 30s, your 15s, if you've got something in that range. I've got my 20s put out and I might go heavier. I'm not sure yet. But I want us to think heavy. Think like you're holding a barbell on this one, okay? So let's go down. You've got 15 to get to. Right here, flatten out your back. Hold and row. Two, three, that's it, Caitlin. Four, five, go heavy. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more. Five, four, three, two, and one, good, set those down. So, one thing I want you to think of when you're working your back is drawing a straight line from where the weights are to where the weights are going, okay? That's also the muscle that you're working <laughs> to get it to that point. That's how it works, gravity. <laughs> Just draw a straight line from the weight to the area you're pulling it to and that's where you're working your back, okay? Now grab your lighter weights. This is where I want you to grab fives or eights. You're gonna do them in sequence, back to back. Y, T, M. It looks like this. Weights forward, Y, T, M, okay? Every single one, I want you thinking about your back while you're doing it, okay? Ready? One, T, M, that's it. Seven more. Two, 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 that's it, Carol. Three, three. Now, if any of these three give you trouble, four, based on your shoulders, four, four, pick a move you can do, okay? Five, do a curl. Five, do a front row. Five, three more. Six, keep sweating. Six, that's it, Dee Dee. Six, two more. Seven, Y. Seven, T. Seven, M. One more. Eight. Eight. Eight, okay? Now, a little bit of a difference, so I'll point it out. We do sometimes a side raise where we're literally like this, okay? The movement is to the sides, side raise. This is, when we do the T, it's more like a tiny hinge forward and out, okay? So that's the difference there. I want you to feel the squeeze back here and less in your shoulders. 
All right, that is the first circuit, you guys. Quick sip of water. You're doing great. We're almost at the halfway point of today's workout. You guys are killing it. Here we go. Quick sip of coffee, it's almost gone, which makes me sad. I have to admit, this weekend, I loosened up a little bit on my coffee intake, and that has been hard to give it back up again, because I'm like, ah, I want a cup. So I'm having to reel it back in these first two days of the week. Go back into your bird dog, think, think, think hard and concentrate on your lower back. Here we go, ready? You're hovering on top of your ball, opposites. One, two, three, four, five, six, that's it, Bruce. Seven, bird dog plank. Eight, off the ball. Nine, 10, 11, 12, that's it, Crystal. 13, 14, 15, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it off. All right, do you have anything heavier? I have something over there. I'm a little bit nervous to grab it. Grab it now. Heavy back rows. I'm going to grab my 30s. So if you want to join us, Team 30, Grab those heavy weights now. I know a lot of you guys that work out with us, you do the 30s all the time. So if you have a weight that intimidates you, now would be the chance to grab it, okay? Here we go, back rows for 15. Easy down into a flat back. One, two, three, lock your core. Four, five, Six, come on, Barbara. Seven, come on, Melita. Eight, nine, ten, five more. Five, come on, Michael. Four, three, two, one. And come back up. You always want to finish here at the top. Set those weights down. Good job. All right, I felt that. Sweat suddenly started pouring off my face. Jump right into your light weights. Here we go. Set down the heavies. Let's go with the YTMs. Here we go. One. 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 Here's two. Two Y. Two T, that's it, Keisha. Two N. Three, 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 four, keep going. Four, come on, Christina. Four, M. Five, 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 Ooh. six, six, six. Man, my arms are fried. Come on, Juanita, two more. Seven Y, seven T, seven M. One more crystal. Eight, eight, eight. Oh man, where I'm feeling that last one is up in here, up in these pretty little muscles, which are your back muscles. You know what I'm talking about, right there. A lot of guys do shrugs. Okay, Crystal's gotta get the kids ready. We, we understand, Crystal. You can always do the second half later, hint, hint. If you wanna do the chest workout later, just saying. All right, one more set of that, y'all. Let's go back to our alternating bird dogs. We're gonna switch it up a little bit. I want you to really get that back engagement. So go back to your stability ball. We're gonna do two back legs together. Hinge it over. Now, if you're not on a ball, you won't be able to do this, <laughs> okay? But I want you to think about your two legs back here and squeeze it to the top. 
Now this looks like glutes, but I want you to really think about your lower back. Here we go for 10. And one, two, three, four, five, five more, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, last 10, let's do alternating. 11, 12, 13, 14, activate the back. 15, whoa. 16, nice and steady. 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good, slide off the stability ball. All right, we're gonna split up our back rows. Grab your heavy weight. We're gonna do 15 on this arm, 15 on this arm. Here we go, grab that heavy weight. You can use a hand weight or a kettlebell. Ready, flatten your back. Remember, you're drawing a line from the weight up and that's the muscle you're working. Here we go, one, two, three, four, singles, five, go heavy, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, four, three, two, one. Switch, second side, here we go. Second side, back rows. Flat back, come on Caitlin. One, two, three, four, you got it Barbara. Five, six, keep sweating, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, come on Harper, four, three, two, one, good, set it down, last set of your YTMs, why not switch this round up too, let's do all eight in a row, we're going to try, we're going to try, I don't know if it's possible, we might totally fail, Eight Y's, eight T's, eight M's. Ready? Let's go Y's. One, two, three. Good job, Carol. Four, come on, Catherine. Five, six, seven, one more. Eight. Okay, not bad, that was the first one. Now eight T's. Ready, and squeeze your back. One, two, three, that's it Becky. Four, come on y'all. Five, six, seven, one more. And eight, breathe. All right, last set of eight. Let's get these M's, ready, and one. Two, three, four. Are you squeezing? Five, that's it, Keisha. Six, two more. Seven, and eight. All right, set those down. Get a sip of water or coffee or something. Let's talk about our next circuit. So remember, one more big circuit, one quick superset, and a finisher. We're actually on the home stretch here. Hmm. Still tastes good even though it's getting cold on me. All right, you've got a chest press. So straight out. What the? <laughs> ah, that means it's working, Kenya. If I can get a fruit punch out of you, that means we're doing something right here. <laughs> We've got chest press, then a flex, a uh, flex, then a fly hex combo, and then we're gonna come up and squeeze, okay? So let's go onto your ball. Start with something light-ish, okay? If you don't have a stability ball, a mat is totally fine. I'm gonna grab my 20s. We've got 15 press and 12 fly hex combos. Ready? 
I started too far out. Let me scoot you back a little bit. Because what you're going to want to do is sit on it, then walk it straight out. Here we go. Chest for the next three movements. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Can you get to 15? Seven, eight. I hear you, Milo. Nine. Sorry about that. Ten. Those of you with dogs. 11, he's begging, 12, to go outside, 13, 14, and 15, good, sit it up, quick break, rest your weights on your quads, now we've got 12 of the combination, fly into a hex, ready, here we go, up here, start, and one, one, Two, two, use three, something medium to heavy. Three, on this one, I'm doing 20s. Four, four, come on, Kenya. Five, five, six, six, I'm starting to feel failure. Seven, how about you? Seven, keep pushing. Eight. Eight, nine, nine, this is where the muscles are made. 10, 10, two more, Bruce. 11, I'm starting to hit failure. 11, one more. 12, and 12. Urgh. Okay, come up, come all the way up. Set your weights to the side, awesome. Grab your stability ball. We're gonna do a quick ball squeeze. Just a static hold to get a nice little pump here in our pectorals. Ready? Hold the ball. One, two, three, four. Are you squeezing? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Nine, that's it. Eight, seven, squeeze. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, now we're gonna go right back to the top. We don't wanna cool down. One, we want to feel that residual burn from the last round, but also, for time's sake, <laughs> we wanna just keep it moving. All right, same weight. I'm already using something pretty heavy, so I'm gonna stick with the, the 20 pounders. Chest press, 15, roll it back out. Ready, create a bridge, keep your hips up, and one, two, if you feel, three, stress in your, four, five, spine, six, Seven, roll it back. Eight, nine, to where your neck is supported. Ten, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. That was your chest press. Now, out of every move we did today, you should be able to lift the heaviest with a chest press and a back row. That push and pull movement are your strongest, okay? Here we go, chest fly, chest hex, excuse me, chest fly, hex press combo. Here we go, one, one, that's it Michael Hester, two, two, come on Christina, three, three, four, stay with it, four, Five, my, tri my triceps. Five, we're giving out. Six. Six. Oh, I hit failure. I'm resting. My bad. Ugh. And seven. Seven, failure. Eight. Eight. Four more. Nine. Nine. Oh, y'all. 10, 10, come on.
mind your laundry up. 11, 11, one more. 12, 12, Ugh. sheesh. Seriously, every last, the last six on that one, I was hitting failure. Like to the point that I wasn't sure I could get the weight off my chest. Eek, we're doing it. We're doing it. What the fruit punch, as Kenya would say. Here we go. Grab around the sides of your ball, squeeze, hold for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it, Christina. Eight, she's hitting failure. Nine, 10, squeeze, 11, 12, 13, one more round, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Just so you know, when we hit failure on a movement, that means we're signaling the body to grow new muscle. It's all working. So it's totally fine to take little breaks and then jump right back into it, okay? Last set, best set. Now I'm nervous to do this. I know I'm gonna hit failure. I'm gonna grab those 30s. We got to. So if you already got your 30s out from your back row, now is the time to grab them. When you hit failure, take a quick break and jump back into it. The hardest part is getting onto my stability ball. Here we go. I'm going to attempt 15 on the chest press. Oh, God. Just don't drop your weight, y'all. Ready? One, two, three, four. Keep your core tight. Five, team 30, six, whatever you got. Seven, eight. Nine, ten, five more. Five, four, three. Come on, Catherine. Two, one. All right, all right. That's all I got on those. I am gonna have to go back to the twenties for my fly hex combo. Ready? Last set of these. What I'd like to do is do, do 10 in a row and 10 in a row on the fly and hex. So you're right here. Go straight into flies. One, two, three. You got it. Four, five, six. Seven, hang in there, three more. Eight, nine, ten. Good. Quick break. Here we go. Ten of the hex press. Ready? One, two, oh god. <laughs> three. I could only do three. Ah! Four. Five. Six, take a break. I'm just resting on my chest. Seven, eight, nine, last one, and ten. Oh man, that one was the hardest of the day. Hardest of the day was the hex press. Ten in a row. All we have to do is squeeze. 20 squeezes, okay? I want you to actually do a pulse. So hold it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, get rid of that ball. All right, grab a drink. I don't know about you, but my stability ball is super sweaty for all the sweat, the back sweat. Here's what we've got. 
three little finishers, okay? One's a superset. We're gonna do a side plank walk, a pectoral fly, and then we're gonna finish with one or two rounds of maximum push-ups. Let's do it. Let's start with a pectoral fly. All right, grab something light. So eights or tens, okay? Pectoral fly, y'all. You're gonna come up right here to 90 degrees and pull your elbows together. All right, see you, Keisha. You got it, ready? One, two, three, four, get to 12, five, six, seven, pectoral fly, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good, bring it down. Next up, you're gonna need a little bit of space, so make sure your weights are pushed back. I've got weights everywhere right now. You get these 30 set out of the way. We are gonna do not just a plank, but we're gonna do a plank walk side to side, okay? It looks like this. You're gonna go down into a plank, right here, and hands together, feet together. Hands together, feet together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, breathe, breathe. I know there's some coordination involved. Hands together, feet together. Because you can't have everything moving at once, right? You can't take this side up at the same time. So that's all we'll do for our first round is 10. Let's come back up, do one more set of pictorial flies, and one more set of our side planking. Ready? Up. Here we go. Try to get those elbows together. One. Two, three, four, five. That's it, Juanita. Six. Come on, Becky. Seven, eight. Four more. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, sheesh. Sheesh. All right go down into a side plank walk. Ready? I want you to really try on this one. Hands together, feet together. Hands together, feet together, okay? Let's do it together. 10 is a good number. Ready? Start with your hands apart, feet together, and one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So it reminds me, sometimes we'll do the bear crawl exactly how we do the bear crawl, okay? Except we have bent elbows and we're walking this way. Bent knees. All right, get a quick sip of water. We've got one more thing to do. I know. No one's ever really excited about the finisher, especially when we did these yesterday. But the only way we're gonna get better at them is to do them again. <laughs> so, you have a choice to make. What kind of push-ups do you wanna do? While everything is nice and warm, hopefully your first set is gonna be good, okay? So I want you literally to do push-ups until you can't do another one. Remember what that number is, because I'm gonna ask you about it, okay? I'm gonna ask everybody, if you want to, if you choose, it's just optional participation, we're gonna post how many we get to. So do your best, okay? I'm gonna do my best up here, and I want all of you to beat me, okay? Here we go. <clears throat> Maximum push-ups, what do you got? What's your number? I think I know what I'm gonna do. Here we go, I'm gonna go for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh. All right, breathe. Good job, y'all. Make a mental note of what you got to. We're gonna take a quick break and do one more. Now, those were not pretty. <laughs> Probably if I was doing an actual push-up contest. Mm. Not a single one of those would count. <laughs> because I'm only going down to about three or four inches from the ground. Technically, we need to go nose to mat. But you know what, we're tired. Do as many as you can. All right, set a mental goal. First round you did blank. This round I want to do blank. On your knees or a military push-up. Whatever you got, Michael Hester. Let's do it, you and me. All right, I know what my goal is. One, two, three, four. Last round, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> ah. Oh, jeez. Ah. All right, stand it up. Good stuff today. Roll your shoulders back. These poor shoulders. We have really turned it up a notch the last couple days. If you feel like posting in comments, I'd love to encourage you on your push-ups. First round I did 20, second round I did 15. Not perfect push-ups, but you know what? If we don't push to failure once in a while, stretch those arms, we're not gonna get stronger. So, you can always message me privately. If you wanna put out there, how many you did. Great job, Barbara. Great job, Kenya. All right, one quick thing I wanted to do before we run out of time is do a little check-in. Great job on our chart. So Friday was day 14. So let's catch up to Friday. And then we had Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Today is day 18. Today is day 18. Barbara did 22 and 18, yes! So y'all, remember, you can restart if you need to, but it's about basically giving up 15 and 10. Yes, Joda, proud of you. It's about giving up some things we know are obvious. Brownies, cookies, great job, Patty. Brownies, cookies, thank you, Beverly. 20 and 12, that's it, Melita. All right, cross one leg over, Andrea. Stretch out those legs from yesterday. That's okay. You know what? It's better to do 14 imperfect military push-ups than, than a bunch of on your knee push-ups. So just know, I'd rather you, that's it, Catherine. Yes. Did she put 24.5? <laughs> of course you did. Great job, Grasso. I was hoping you were here. Great job, Carol, Yolandria, Becky. That's okay, you're on vacation, Becky. Loosen up, enjoy, have fun with your kids. That's what I'd want you to do, you know that. All right, y'all, have a wonderful Tuesday. Hit restart on the no sugar challenge if needed. Drink lots of water. And we are on day 18, okay? So let's push to the finish for the rest of March. That's it, Kenya, eight and five. I want you to make a mental note, y'all, of where you were today on push-ups, so that next week when we do this again, we're gonna add one each time, okay? Great job, Caitlin. I will see you guys tomorrow for leg day, okay? Bye, see you, Emily. Feeling strong today. Feeling cut. Yes. Uh, uh. All right, everybody give me a flex. Bye.